What's up guys, Austro Boston here, welcome back to another video, and today is a very, very big day for GeoGuessr. So we just got a brand new country in the game of Kazakhstan. So yeah, this was pretty unexpected surprise to me and probably surprise to most of the community. Nobody was really expecting this, we didn't really have any like photos posted to social media of cars driving the country, or really any officially released articles, blogs, or whatever. So yeah, this is a surprise to pretty much everyone. So the coverage of the country is pretty much the full country. Um, I'll put a photo or screenshot up on screen now of the current known extent of the coverage. But yeah, it's pretty big. It does cover pretty much the whole country. This is huge. Pretty big country here. Of course, it is the ninth biggest country in the world um, behind Argentina and, head, and ahead of Algeria. So, you know, you could lose a lot of points if you guessed the wrong part of the country here. So yeah, the lines of course haven't loaded in yet because this has came out just a few hours ago at the time of this recording. So yeah, the lines aren't fully loaded in yet. Um, but yeah, I do have some locations opened in other tabs that we can go ahead and check out. First things first, this country is covered using a Generation 4 Trekker on the back of a, a white pickup truck. I believe it's called like a Toyota Hilux. I'm pretty sure this car is called. Um, it is used in a lot of countries that we've been getting recently, like the UAE, Panama, and stuff like that. Qatar have all been using the same car. So yeah, the last country we got with a regular Gen 4 car was, I believe, Austria in 2018. But yeah, nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. If you're playing uh, like this, NMPZ, you know, you could definitely confuse this country with maybe like Russia or something. Definitely going to take a lot of learning because it is a pretty big and diverse country. People are probably definitely going to develop metas soon of like antennas and like the paint or smudges on the car, the camera, etc. Again, it's just a matter of time. So yeah, this is a location in Astana, formerly known as Nur Sultan, the capital of Kazakhstan. So yeah, it does look like another post-Soviet country. So that's pretty cool here. We do have white number plates like Russia with no Euroband, of course. We also do have yellow number plates on some cars I have seen on that van back there in this car in front of us here. Um, so yeah, this is the location here in Astana. Moving on, this is a location in the east of Kazakhstan. Pretty rural road here, again, using the same car. But like, you know, here we have a chip in the in the side paint here. So again, people are going to catch on and develop metas. The antenna here is folded down versus this location, it's up. But this is pretty cool here. It's pretty dry. Could look like certain parts of Russia and stuff like that. Another location here. And the coverage did start back in August 2022, I believe is the earliest I have seen personally so far. So yeah, it's been going on for over a year. They've been driving the country and really nobody has posted to like social media or anything as far as we're aware of. So that's pretty surprising, honestly. Um, I guess they don't really like to use Western uh, social media or like maybe didn't recognize it over there. I guess so some people have said. But yeah, that's that. This one is from August. This one's from October of 2022. This one is from November of 2022 in the city of Almaty in South Kazakhstan. As you can see, these are leaves, I believe, on top of the car here in Almaty. So this could be just in Almaty or it could be in other parts, you know, figure it out eventually. Um, so yeah, pretty cool here. Nice location in the city of Almaty. Moving on, this is in the west of Kazakhstan in the Akt Aktobe region here. So yeah, again, it does look like some parts of Russia near the Kazakhstan border of course so pretty diverse as I said before and another thing that I have noticed in Kazakhstan is that they do use Russian signposts so white at the top and black at the bottom is commonly well, well I guess now I should say formerly a Russian only meta but now you can also find these signs in Kazakhstan so if you're playing like this for example in NMPZ I could easily see myself going Russia on this with those signposts here with this priority road sign and this other sign here black at the bottom the stop sign as well is painted black at the bottom so that's a pretty cool thing to keep in mind here this was from june of 2023 so last year in the summer so yeah coverage has been going on for a while and then i have this location in the north kazakhstan region which does definitely look like the baltics or even some parts of of russia of course so yeah, NMPZ, again, you could definitely get confused between Kazakhstan and Russia, definitely, definitely. Unless it's like something like this, where you could see the blur at the bottom, which does help. Some maps 
put their locations where you could still see the uh, car meta, but some don't like this. So yeah, it, it depends on the map. Pretty sure some maps hide, try to hide car meta as much as possible. But yeah, without car meta, again, you could easily go like Lithuania maybe or something on like this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, same thing for the town name signs. It also does use the Russian black painted bottom with the white top here. So yeah, again, also you could see this yield sign, <laughs> black painted bottom. Keep mentioning that. So this is a pretty cool lock. Again, North Kazakhstan region near the Russian border. So it could definitely look like the respective parts of Russia as well. So yeah, those are just some locations I pulled up here. We have a couple of city locations. Uh, one in the east of the country. Pretty dry, again, as I said before here. Lines have not loaded in on the map making app either. So we cannot like play this coverage on GeoGuessr just yet. But in the coming days, of course, I will post videos most likely of me trying out a Kazakhstan only map to see, you know, what the regions look like and kind of get a general feel for what we're in for on this brand new country. So yeah, Kazakhstan technically really isn't in GeoGuessr itself yet. Just time will tell till when that gets added in the next few hours or days, whatever. Very, very excited for that to be added to go ahead and start playing with Kazakhstan. Pretty big country, pretty diverse country, so definitely something most people will have to learn. And then one final thing that I wanted to add here real quickly is this has been anticipated for a while, kind of long awaited, is the UAE now has Gen 4 coverage on a regular standard Google car. Um, this one is from May 2023, but the coverage will extend from April of 2022, so pretty much two years ago, all the way to June of 2023. So they were taking it for around one year in the country. And it is currently in the Emirates of Dubai, Forjaya, I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names, um, Raz and Sharjah. So yeah, those four Emirates do have um, coverage with the standard Gen 4 car. We do have rural coverage and urban coverage, as you can see here. This is just a location that it pulled up in the middle of Dubai from May 2023. As you can see, from July 2022, this one is using the um, the pickup truck, but it's blurred. And then this one is using the pickup truck, but it's like, you can still see it. So previously, the UAE only had standard Gen 3 and pickup truck Gen 4. But it is cool now that we have regular Gen 4 car in the UAE for both rural and urban locations. So yeah. Very, very cool to have that. Just kind of wanted to add that really quick on top of the Kazakhstan update. So yeah, a pretty big day for Google Street View 2024. is definitely looking like an absolutely insane year. Oman is confirmed. Namibia is confirmed. As well as Bosnia and Herzegovina is also confirmed. That will be added sometime later this year, hopefully. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Stay tuned for more videos on this Kazakhstan update. But with all that being said, that's going to have to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. As always, stay safe. And other than that, guys, it's been the All for Boxing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.